At Coder Grand Contest is finished, and now I'm doing Code Forces round 663. Wish me good luck, it's about to start in 9 seconds. There will be a total of 5 problems with no subtask. I think I'll just go with the usual ABCD order. Just output the identity permutation, I think. When you read in number of test cases. Is this actually it? Should I risk it? Try to get... That makes sense, right? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Oh, okay, cool, that was easy. Okay, just change the border cells, like, on, just change the bottom and the right. Almost forgot to read in the number of test cases. Okay, so, here's our answer. Or n minus one. Um, if it's right, then we add one. So g of i, uh, yeah, g of i minus one is equal to right. And then we do the same thing but for the bottom part. So g of n minus one uh, i is equal to down. Then we add. This should be correct. I read the problem correctly, like, okay, cool, pre-test passed. Where did we find the largest J? At least one simple cycle. One makes something, one makes it cyclic. Let's see, if you can divide the permutation into, if you plot the permutation and you divide it into two halves like this, then. Basically everything but the identity. No, that's not right. Looking at this, so which sixteen? As long as you have this shape then. Hmm. We have this shape then. So it can be like only all increasing or all decreasing. 
Then I don't get then I don't get the sample case. Okay, which ones have cycle? Doesn't tell us. Is one, two, three not a cycle? Wait, there is a nudge from 1 to 4. Largest J and smallest J. Has at least one simple, simple cycle. 1, 3. Oh wait, this is based on indices, okay. One, three, yeah, two, one. Two, three, and four, three. Oh, because it's greater than what happens when you get this. Oh, okay, so these, you can't count these types. Okay, I see. So what's the number for these types? It's literally 2 to the n, right? 2 to the n minus 1. Why is it not A? You put 4 and then you put... Oh, it's N factorial minus 2 to the N. Okay, that makes sense. Let's try to make sure that my math is right. And wait, something went wrong. Eight. Twenty-four. Oh. Okay. okay it's supposed to be two to the n minus one, not two to the n. Okay. Now it works. Okay, I was a bit slow for this, but it's just uh, one problem, so it's fine. As long as I don't get a penalty, it should be fine. It's good if every even length square has an odd number of ones. Even length square has an odd number. Is it even possible for big matrices? If n or n is greater than, if both of them are greater than or equal to 4, then you can definitely, it's definitely impossible. 
because every even length square sub matrix. You have four odd matrices, but this entire thing is a square, so that's that turns out to be even, but you want it to be odd, so that doesn't work. So in the end, if it's If n is equal to 1, it's already good. If n is equal to 2, then... Is this just some DP? Like, bit mask. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, let's try... Read this and then wait. And it's equal to one. So zero. And it's greater than three. See how negative one return. Otherwise, we'll have a DP. columns, each one of them will have one to the n possible states. And all of them will just start at like um, 10 to the power of 9. Answer is minimum element of all of the last row. Whatever, okay. DP zero I is equal to zero. No wait. Let's go to the differences. Um so it starts at zero. Now let's go through every single bit. So the original character is g of j of 0, and then the new one is i the jth bit of i. These are not different, these are different than yeah, we have one. And then let's transition for j, k, 1, n. similar thing. And then we have to find which bit masks are compatible. Let's hope this isn't TLE. If compatible is done. Then we'll 
Uh, update the main. K minus one. J. Okay. So I just need to calculate this uh, matrix, whatever. Now I'll do that with pre computation. bit of i and then the case bit of j so both of them start out as compatible and if we find an even sum then they become uncompatible unco incompatible k and minus two or n minus one and minus one I think So it has to be odd, so a of k plus a of k plus 1 plus b of k plus b of k plus 1. Two, this should be negative 1. Samples aren't that strong, but whatever. So this might be a very fast round, because it, only, it has only been like Less than 17 minutes. Come on, run already. Pretest 3, hopefully open. Okay. Okay, pretest passed. That's good. One problem left. Any way to pair some subset? Every pair of pairs. And a simple path consisting. Of at least filling up a divide two nodes. Find the valid pairing. Oh, this type of problem. It's probably some greedy. I really want to look at the standings because it's kind of funny. Wow, can okay, first. I don't think that'll last, but. So obviously let's try to use the DFS tree because I can't think of anything better. So you have your DFS tree. And it's basically a tree except you have some back edges. So let's say, oh no, um, the depth is not deep enough. We can't find this many nodes on the path. Now what do you do? Kind of want to, this kind of feels like finding a matching. Wait, 
Wait, is he pair? If you pair two leaves and their parents, what happens? We just continuously pair leaves together, what happens? It's only bad if, wait, never mind. Could be even worse. I feel like if you continuously pair leaves, then. There are no multi-edges, right? Does not contain, or does it have itself loops? Okay. Because that way you can only connect to like one node on top at most. Um. Feels correct. So how do you pair the nodes? Given that the depth is not too large. Each time we try to decrease the depth by at least once. Okay. I think that works. It's multitask, which is annoying. So do I really care about the other edges? No, I don't. And I'll store the parents. But I output. Okay. At least this many nodes are paired. Am I able to do that? Yeah, I am. Wait, what's the proof? What happens if I, hmm. Do I have to choose two leaves? This is interesting to consider. Yeah, I do. So put in a set or something, I guess. 
Okay, I really need to consider if this works or not. So you have like a main line, I guess, deepest one. And you have other necessary branches. As long as you can make sure the path is, longest path is always short enough, then it's good. Should I even bother proving this? Still stuck with the proof. What point? No, he just removed leaves arbitrarily. And it'll always work, right? It should... Yeah, because... Let's say you can't. And that means... Okay, okay, okay. I got this. So the proof was much simpler than I actually expected. And um, it's connected, right? Okay. DFS. And we need to do the pairing.
also pat pass in the death. How many nodes so far? So, um, number of nodes greater than or equal to two. one plus one divided by two, which is the ceiling. Then we output path. And k number of nodes. Print path. Uh, path, okay. Print d. Write u plus one. Uh, v plus uh, u plus one. Okay, got the first case ready. Now the second case. Uh, number of children. Let's put everything into Q. Pair A and B together. And then also um, we subtract this from P of A. P of A is less than if not NC P of A. Put this in the queue. And we do the same thing for B as well. Last we print out everything. Okay, hopefully that works. What went wrong? One hundred eighty nine. Decent year dot erase. Hmm, I don't think anything wrong with this. Oh, so to find P of U. Oh, I found found so many paths, but they all like intersect because I'm supposed to use visited. Okay. Need a new adjacency list. It's already visited before, then continue. They gave pretty strong sample tests, which is nice. Okay, the pairing messed up somehow. Path, path. Oh, 
about two five one. To subtract one from this as well, which I forgot. Four one and one one. Oh, times two is less than. print this afterwards because I'm too lazy to calculate the size. Parrying 5-6. Let's just submit and see what happens. I feel like I'm late already. It took like 20 minutes for E. I feel like someone has already solved E in a much shorter amount of time. So we'll have to see. Let's load standings as well. Nobody? That's surprising. Pretest 3. Oh shoot. Okay. Wrong answer on pretest 3. The golf has 1 and 2, but it filled on 3. Hmm. Any constraints I missed? I have, I have to have. Okay. I should change the order of this. I think that's going to help. That could be what messed up. Let's go. Let's hope it works. Running on pretest on my own pretest theory. Oh, it passed. Wow. So that was it. Six. Seven, eight. Why is it running so slow though? Okay, I have one wrong submission. But I think I'm ahead enough from the first four problems that I have a very good chance of getting first if this passes. It's judging very slowly for some reason. Oh, it's, it's three seconds. I think maybe the server is just slow right now. But this is actually pretty funny. A division two round solved in within forty minutes. Twenty-nine. Okay, so pretests are pretty strong. Oh, okay, so a lot of tests just went by. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Uh, when will I get that AC? Fifty six pretests already. I think my solution is pretty legit, so they probably tried to they probably made strong pretests because they didn't want randomized solutions to pass. Sixty. I feel like someone could have might 
if someone was lucky and looked in the right direction, then they probably could have solved it much faster than 20 minutes. Like I spent a lot of, spent a lot of time thinking of why my solution was correct. And if I just like, if I just took the bet and just wrote the solution, I think it would have been fine. 74. It's acting really slowly. Uh, I think I should I should be fast enough to uh, be top two, even though I have one penalty. Wow, there are a lot of pretests. Pretests pass in nine hundred sixty-six milliseconds. My solution is slow because I feel like it's supposed to be much faster. I actually don't see why it would be this slow. I'm not using any sort of expensive operation. So maybe it's just that the code forces server is slow. Maybe it's just the huge amount of input and output. So I probably have first by now. Oh yeah, cool thing is I, s I solved A within the first minute, which is nice. Yeah, just small flex. Um, okay, I'm gonna check other people's run times for E. Yeah, they're pretty big, so I think I'm fine. And I'm going to check if I'm the first person to solve A because I'm kind of bored. There's more than an hour left in the contest submission time. Oh yeah, as always, there's a six seconds off, but maybe if I did not hesitate, but yeah, there, there are too many maybes. Like, it's very easy to, um, to reflect on your contest and say that maybe if you didn't make this mistake or not, but it's too hard to not make these mistakes. Wait, problem A only has two tests. Problem B only has three tests. C, the formula seems legit, so I, I trust that C is correct. So as for D, there are 26 tests, so... I mean, 26 tests is a lot, so... I'm confident that they are correct as well. Let's probably just... Before A can just output any permutation. I feel like if you just output any permutation for A, it'll work. Because, because since it's a permutation, in a range with size this much, you must have a number which is at least this large. So and then you or everything together, this inequality must be true, so. But yeah, so that's the reason why they only had two tests for A. There's no point of having more tests. And B, yeah, I don't see what could be wrong with B. So. I think I probably have secured my win by now. Let's check the scoring. Okay, so. Do you submit? Not yet, so maybe they submit now they would get less than two thousand three hundred points, so they would not be able to surpass me, so uh that's cool. Even though I wasn't the first one to finish. 
I was the first one to, no, I'm not the first one. Like, I I had like better pe penalty because of the first four problems, so that's why I ended up with the highest score. But there's still like seventy five minutes remaining, and you never know. My solutions could always go wrong during the system test phase. So we'll have to see during, like, after the end of the end of the contest if I actually got first. For now, I just need to wait. Anyways, I hope you found this uh, useful or enjoyable, and I'll see you in another contest.